Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about required statement in Solidity, which is a very, very, very important statement in Solidity and a concept that you should know. So in order to understand required statement, let me create one function uh, by the name of is zero. Okay. And let me pass some value to it public and it will, let's say return, for example, true. Okay. Not true, actually bull value that and then definitely have curly braces since we are not using any state variable so we can have pure here now what i can do is i can use my require statement to check whether a is equal to zero or not so i will do require i will check whether a equal to zero if a is not equal to zero then i will throw an error that a is not and if a is equal to zero in that case we can return true from here so let us see what i am trying to do here so why i will pass one value a to this function this required statement will check whether a is equal to zero or not if this condition is true then we will go to the next line if this condition is false means if a is not equal to zero in that case it will throw an error that a is not equal to zero let us check this first so i will deploy my contract now I will pass some value. Let's say I will pass zero for the like for now. I'm passing zero. So you can clearly see that since a is equal to zero, so it will pass. This condition will pass and it will go to the next line and it will return us true. Okay. Now let's say if I'm passing uh 12 here, okay, which is not equal to zero, and I will click on this is zero. Now, once I will click on this is zero, you can clearly see that this transaction got failed. So here you will see that. The transaction has been reverted to the initial state reason provided by the contract a is not equal to zero and definitely if you want to know about it then you can debug this transaction but here this is an important point that your transaction got failed because a is not equal to zero and it throws this error that a is not equal to zero now you must be thinking whether require statement require statement is an alternative to our if and else condition so it depends so for example let me use if and else condition for the same function okay i will create one more function okay and let's say instead of using uh, this what i can do is i can check whether a equal to zero using my if and else condition and then simply if this is true i will return this true and if this is not true what i can do is okay in order to use this just like our require statement I have to use another keyword and that keyword is revert okay and then inside our revert we will have this particular statement like this so now what will be what will actually happen is that it will check whether a is equal to zero if a is equal to zero then it will return true and then we are reverting okay let's close this bracket if this is not the case okay if this is not the case then we will revert with this particular statement so this revert will actually behave like uh, just like your require statement in this case actually not as your require statement because in require statement you can also mention your uh, condition as well right but in this case i have to use this if condition but this require state this revert statement actually will throw an error just like your require statement if you will return a string directly from here then that will not be considered as an error so if you are thinking that i will return this like this like what i'm trying to say so instead of reverting it if you are thinking i will directly do return and inside this i will pass this particular string definitely you can do that you can do that and it will definitely work but here you have to understand that this is not an error okay while this is like throwing an error and in this case you are simply returning one string and it is not throwing any kind of error that's why instead of this what we will use is we will use this reverse statement if we want to act like if we want this function to act just like our is zero function okay so let me move all these extra let me save this let me again deploy this okay let us check whether our is zero if condition is working or not so i will pass zero for the first time so it is returning us true nice and let's say if i'm passing 12 in this case so again you will see the transaction has been reverted to the initial state just like your require statement if you remember reason provided by the contract is not equal to zero and again the debug the transaction to get 
So yes, you can use this require statement as an alternative to your if else condition, but only if, if you are using this re reward statement, right? Because this reward statement will throw an error just like your require statement. Okay. But definitely you do not need to get confused better. Like uh, the best will be to use this require statement only because in most of your projects, in most of the examples that you will see, most of the people, most of the developers use this require statement, not this reward because this will just expand the lines of code, right? This require statement is doing everything in this single line of code while for this for the same thing to do with if else you can clearly see that i have to have two more extra lines right so definitely require statement is a much better alternative to this particular i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video if you have liked this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?